<laughs> Hello, this is Ute and... Doodle -doodle 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 -doodle. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And Ken from Ute's Herbal Corner. Hello, everyone. And today, yeah, we said the last time it's already... The sun is getting down earlier, it's getting chilly in the morning. So as we said the last time, it looks like the summer is finding an end. And uh, normally the fall should come, but we are nearly sure, right? The winter is coming. So, and we heard or Ken told me there will be a hard winter this one. So. A very cold winter, they say. So that means the cold, the colds are coming. <laughs> yeah, but last last year, the winter, we had one, a couple of days minus 40. So it's freaking cold. And by the way, cold and cold, <laughs> that's what we are talking today. Um, because it's around the corner, if it's fall or winter, the flu season is starting, right? And we thought it's time to show you how you help yourself to make a beautiful, uh, yeah, with a good aroma or odor or whatever you call it, um, cream. You can buy this cream, like, not like our one, but you can buy creams. It's called, um, Starts with a B. Yeah. <laughs> and you put it on your chest or under your nose and everything. But when you, as always, read the ingredients from the items you get in the store, it's like, uh, no. And you can do it on your own with just five ingredients. You may say, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have two different essential oils already in there. So the reception or precept. The recipe. Re recipe. <laughs> Again, we are talking with my fancy pronunciation. We have, for the main thing, uh, it's not warm yet. We have eight ounce of olive oil, good as olive oil, not olive oil from Aldi or whatever. <laughs> we have one ounce of beeswax. We have a half to one teaspoon of menthol, right? Menthol. <laughs> and we have also 20 drops of eucalyptus and 10 drops of rosemary oil. So now I know it will coming that people are saying, what the hell is menthol, menthol crystals? So I wrote it up for you because everything in my mind that doesn't work. <laughs> so <laughs> menthol crystal are a waxy substance and a solid component of mint oil. The mint essential oil is derived from the mint leaf and the mint leaf is going through distillation. This is something we were thinking about if we make our own essential oil, but a distill, distill is or whatever you yep. call this. It's chemical. a lot of space you need there. And, and, and really, we have tons of mint everywhere, but you need, I don't know how many to get two ounce or one ounce of essential oil. So it would be running for weeks, day and night. That's the problem. Yeah, and we thought this is, no, we, we don't want to go so deep in this. But this is what um, the mental crystal so it's mint essential oil um which is coming out through the this how do you call this distiller yeah distiller, distiller. yep and distiller the product what's coming out is then the essential oil and this essential oil will be frozen at minus 22 degrees celsius i don't know what it is fahrenheit but minus 22 um degrees celsius and when this is frozen, then the essential oil causes it to crystallize, forming menthol crystals. So, um, in other words, essential oil, if you make it on your own or if you have, yep. uh, you, have the, you bought the organic essential oils, um, essential mint oil, and what they are doing then, they are the, the companies, they are freezing this product by minus 22 degrees celsius and then is it turns this, the crystals this is then the product so it's nothing harmful maybe you were so oh, oh no it's still organic <laughs> i just wanted to put something in there so please 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 do your research on your olive oil <laughs> look really really hard you may find out that it's not possible to get really good clear not mixed from one farm, olive oil, here in the United States, sadly. We haven't found one here. We do get ours from, what do you say, a board? <laughs> a board, yeah. <laughs> yes. A board. Because it wasn't possible to find one farm that 
doesn't mix their olive oils with last year's or something like that. So please, please, please do your research or send us a message. We will let you know what olive oil we use. Okay, thank you. So now my double broiler is broiling and now we put the eight ounce, ounce with, which is one cup of olive oil. And I mean, let me just pull it out so you see, not in this camera, can you see it over there? It's golden, let me yep. go up. It's golden, so this is really a good olive oil. And Ken is even drink, taking one um, spoon every morning, pure olive oil. And it, it tastes fantastic, it really does. It doesn't have this this musty- Bitterness. Bitterness, nothing, Aftertaste. really. It has a wonderful flavor, so taste. Then, the next, and flavor, yeah. Yep. Uh, the next are the beeswax, one ounce, and then the menthol crystals. We explained to you why it's still, how is it made and that it's not something chemical. So, and now, of course, we know this, we have to stir it together. And the end product is, we call this, can you see it? <laughs> eucalyptus menthol salt so to explain but i am sure you know how you use um such products for example if you have a bad cough when the flu is coming or even a cold um a bad cough or running nose or the opposite a stuffed nose if you have a cough and mostly in the nighttime when you lay flat in your bed it's coming over you and you're coughing around like no tomorrow <laughs> um, then this cream just put it on your chest and because stay because of your body I don't know want to say body heat but the body temperature this cream will be yeah how do you say it's it's melting more or less and giving all the etheric um, oils and the it's evaporating from your body heat yeah Good. The same is when you have a stuffed nose and you don't want to take this nasal spray, which is terrible. It dries out your nose. Um, you can put it a, li a little bit, and I said a little bit, just here under your nose. So again, you can feel it, how you can breathe, breathe better. A pleasant scent rises into your nose. And after a short time, it becomes, easy, it becomes easier to breathe, breathe again. So as I said, this is Okay, now may the question is coming up. Yeah, but I'm aller allergic for menthol. Um, there is, I'm sorry, I don't have any alternative for the menthol crystals because this is necessary for this product. If the menthol, men menthol is a German word, the menthol wouldn't be in there, you don't have this powerful uh, benefits of this cream. You wanna say something? Yes, uh, I remember. <laughs> So I remember back in the day, so my grandmother would not put on that mm, vapor rub on me, but she would take a hot bowl of water, she would stir it in there, and then we would take a towel and lay yeah. it over our heads and breathe it in to our nose. And that would clear up the sinuses and everything. And if you can smell, if we would be able to smell, it's the same right now in here in our area, because, um, Theoretically, you can go ahead and put some a teaspoon or whatever, not too much because it's really, really strong. Put it in warm water to make the thing what Ken just said, this steam bath or yeah, I don't know whatever. what you call it. Bo well, yeah, boiling hot water in in a little bar in a little bowl, a little teaspoon or whatever, and then put a towel, as he said, a towel, and then and you sweat all over. <laughs> so here we are done it's melted the only thing what we are missing shred it off is the essential oils and as i said we are talking here about 20 which has to cool down no no um the 20 drops of um eucalyptus you you say it I, i'm sure different again eucalyptus is the way i said in germany you yeah you know what i'm talking about and 10 drops of rosemary oil so and this is on top of the menthol. Is this an additional? Yeah, my my nose is getting clear right now. If you would whisk it now in our shop, you would get a clear nose right away. <laughs> so, as I said, we have one, two, three, and two essential oil. 
five ingredients you can easily make at home for your own um if you said no i'm i have no time to do that or whatever of course the cream is in our shop available or online whatever you prefer so again we are to our glass container and we just no i take this hand i'm normally a lefty as may you can see but back in the days my parents thought it's necessary to teach me to use my right hand but sometimes i'm still using my left one just a side note here we are we put it in the jars and it will be solid i would say within 30 minutes and then you can go ahead and, and use it already hmm that's a lot here huh may i can do a second another one so this is the end product here what we made together our how do you say eucalyptus 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 i think <laughs> eucalyptus. <coughs> so <laughs> eucalyptus <laughs> yeah <laughs> um menthol uh, salve is he here done and you can see it's an easy way to make it for your own at home if you don't have the as I said, you don't say I have the time or I don't want to buy all the ingredients. You can get it here in our store. So our cream will help you go much, much easier through the season. And it's organic, no chemicals. And on that, top of that, oops. we have our super, super from this year, too. We had a super harvest. I really got to say we had this year a super harvest. Our mullen teas, all of our teas, our mint teas and everything. OK, but you can find a link below this video to our web page yeah and because you said i have still here it's how everything is full with pineapple mint and then there over there is another one no we put it in the new greenhouse there is mint and lemon mixed already so i have to make this tea i have to make pineapple teas for you guys and we have more to harvest <laughs> uh, yeah it's so more or less a never-ending story and the time is running yep. because we as we said the last time we have to replant stuff from the backyard to the front yard to the front um to the greenhouse to the greenhouse mm -hmm. and stuff from the white greenhouse to the brown greenhouse so yeah we have a lot to do and we're still working full time <laughs> for the next two years <laughs> okay anything else yep as usual oh god yeah <laughs> i am your master herbalist i'm not a doctor and i cannot and i will not or we cannot and we will not give you any medical advice this is skincare. This, this are not something you take in. You put it on your skin. So yeah, but we repeat ourselves for our own liability. And don't forget, put the label on. Well, yeah. Now you don't have to print them like we do. So if you're making it yourself, of course, you can just get these round things or a sticker and write on it what it is. What it is and when yep. you make it. But um, with the creams, the shelf life is, I would say, at least two years. But with the winters around the corner, you need more than one for two years i would say so yeah, that's it will be <laughs> emptier faster than the two years shelf life all right that's it other than that la 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 like and subscribe oh yeah <laughs> now okay. i got you <laughs> i'm still sending your hearts <laughs> please like and subscribe to our youtube channel love and light love and light ken and ute from ute circle corner ciao ciao, ciao, ciao.